Hi, I'm Adam. I'm part of the Dial 9 support team. And today we're going to be looking at setting up a Yealink T46. First of all, I've already connected the T46 to my network and I've powered it on. So I will now need to press the OK button on the device, which will show me the phone's IP address. Now on my laptop, I have typed the IP address in my browser and I'm now presented with the login screen for the device. I simply type in admin in lowercase as the username and the password and I'm now connected to the phone. And from here, I head to the account tab, which is where I need to enter in the details for my dial nine extension. I will set line active to enabled and then I will send the label as my company name, which is my business. The display name will be my own name and then the register name and username will be obtained from the Dial9 service under my extension information, which I've just created. So I will copy the username to my clipboard and I will paste in both the register name and the username. And then I will do the same with the password. And then under server host, I simply need to type in sip.dial9.co.uk. And then at the bottom, I can click confirm phone will say operation completed and on refresh register status shows registered so I can now test this device and I'm going to pick up my other phone which I already provisioned to the service and I will dial my extension number which I will go and find out from my service which is 102 so I'll dial 102 and hit send and my other device is ringing I can hang up the phone and then I will simply test in the opposite direction so I will dial 101, hit send, and it will ring the other device. So that's my phone now registered and ready to use with the Dial9 service. So that was uh, simply the process of connecting up a Yealink phone manually by using the web interface. For more videos like this, you can go straight onto our website to have a look, and you'll find them on dial9.co.uk forward slash TV.